Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. Here's a very simple, quick trick you can do with a borrowed deck of cards and you can let the uh, person who's doing the trick or you're demonstrating the trick to make all of the moves. So you take a deck of cards and tell them to cut the deck approximately in the middle, doesn't matter where, and cut both packs again like this. Now have them take one of the packs and deal three cards onto the bottom of the pack, one, two, three, and then three cards onto the remaining stacks. Do that again. Three on the bottom. One, two, three, and then three on the remaining stacks. Again, three cards to the bottom, three on the stack, and finally, same thing in the last group. Now the cards should thoroughly be mixed up, but what you'll find that if they turn over, and you don't do this, they do, the cards will be the four aces, just like this. And remember, all of this was done by the person watching the trick. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. The root canal process removes the infected pulp and replaces it with a sterile substance so that the tooth can be saved. Unfortunately, some bacteria might remain, and if the immune system is weak, they may proliferate and cause harm in other parts of the body. Therefore, many holistic dentists prefer an extraction instead of a root canal to ensure that all bacteria are removed. Many holistic dentists are recommending extractions rather than root canals. When I saw that little piece in uh, YouTube, I got to wondering how many holistic dentists are there out there that are recommending extractions. So I did a Google search and I found when I looked for holistic dentistry, 1,410,000 hits. Now I know that's, there's a lot of repetition in there, but there seems to be quite a few dentists out there that are holistic dentists. And I'm wondering what they tell their patients when the patient says, how do I replace this tooth that you just taken out? If you put in a flipper partial, it's going to be teeming with bacteria. If you get a full denture, you're going to have all kinds of bacterial problems. But where did all this come from? Around the turn of the century, uh, a gentleman named Weston Price did a lot of studies on what would happen to root canal filled teeth. And he surmised that these teeth were leaking bacteria and their toxins out into the bloodstream and causing all kinds of problems. Now, I'm not going to argue and say that this never could occur, but I'm, I am going to say that the vast majority of our population probably has no problem with standard root canals. Um, and a few people, compromised patients, immune compromised patients, probably should have teeth extracted. This became known as the focal infection theory and it led to millions of extractions of endodontically treated teeth until in the 1930s some well-designed studies proved that that theory was not true. As a matter of fact, we almost had a shutdown of endodontics altogether because of this focal infection theory. One of the other problems that we run into is people, a lot of the holistic dentists are using a product that used to be called BioCalyx. Uh, the new name for it is now Endocal and it is a root canal filling material but it expands anywhere from six to nine times its original volume upon setting and that as a matter of fact the manufacturer in their literature says do not use on compromised or weakened roots because it can split the root so this particular product I'm not sure that it does what it says it does and it can be quite destructive so be careful of that uh, if you're considering using biocalyx I'm beginning to think that this problem may be more widespread than I first thought and what I would like to do in a future root tip of the week is maybe explore some of the things that we can say to our patients to reassure them that just because they're having a root canal doesn't mean that they're going to be putting toxins into their bloodstream and they're going to have all kinds of health problems associated with it. If you have any comments, pro or con, about the issues we're discussing today, please send me an email at kit.weathers at gmail.com and we will explore this in more detail in future root tips of the week. 
Now it's time for a few seconds with Joe. And now, 60 seconds with Joe. The Journal of Endodontics, 2009, July issue, page 962. The purpose of this study was to find out if with an electronic apex locator you would get more accurate readings with a stainless steel hand file or with a rotary nickel titanium file in a hand piece. And they compared uh, three different uh, apex locators, the Root ZX2, the Apex NRG, XFR, and the mini apex locator using rotary nickel titanium files. Interestingly enough, they found that using the rotary files, the accuracy with the three different systems was 50%, 46%, and 39%. Whereas using a hand file, stainless steel, the accuracy approached 95 to 100%. Moral of this story, if you really want to get accurate measurements with your apex locator, use a stainless steel hand file, not a file in your rotary handpiece. This is Joe, and we'll see you again next time. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, inviting you to join me at our very next Root Camp. So long for now.